equation the equation of our planes the equation of lines of our planes if a plane passing through a point p naught that the coordinate is x naught y naught and z naught and perpendicular to a line we know the, the direction of this line is Uh, passing p naught, x naught, y naught, and z naught, and the perpendicular to a, a vector. This vector we call it the long vector of the plane. The vector is right at coordinate a, b, c. That's the coordinate, uh, the, the Lomo vector. And how to find, uh, how to write down the equation of this plane? Uh, suppose there's any point on the plane. This point we call P, X, Y, its coordinate is X, Y, Z. Because it's any point uh, or arbitrary point on the plane. Then, uh, from the P0 to P, there is a vector. And uh, this vector should, perper should perpendicular to the Lomo vector. That means P0 P should perpendicular to the N. And uh, the P0 P can be write as X minus X0 y minus y naught and z minus z naught because p is any point and uh, this vector should perpendicular to the n so their dot product should be equal zero that means x minus x naught y minus y naught z minus z naught that's the uh, coordinates of the P and P naught dot A, B, C equal zero. We call this equation as vector equation of plane. Vector equation of this plane. Or we'll write uh, as a x minus x naught plus b y minus y naught plus c z minus z naught equals zero. We call this equation as point uh, Lormer equation. Because x naught, y naught, z naught is the point uh, that is the plane passing through, and a, b, c is is the coordinates of the long vector. And if we expand the brackets, we have a x plus b y plus c z equals d, where d is a x naught plus b y naught plus c z naught. We call this equation as standard equation. We call this equation as standard equation. The three form, the three form of the equation of planes. Now let's see some examples. The first example is find the equation. Find the equation. Sorry. Of 
show the plane. That passing through point. Passing through point P201. And uh, perpendicular. To the line passing through two points. The two points is uh, the two points are one one zero and four uh, negative one and two. That means the that means the long vector should the vector of of, con, uh, of the vector uh, determined by these two points uh, by these two points. So n equals four negative one and two minus one one zero that is uh, three negative two and two and the point uh, here the point uh, p naught uh, in this problem the p naught is two zero one so the equation of this plane should be three x minus two Mm, minus two y minus two y minus zero and uh, plus two z minus one equals zero. That's the lower uh, that's point lower equation. And if we expand the brackets we have as 3x minus 2y plus 2z equals that's negative 6, negative 2 uh, move to the right, we change the sign. That's 3x minus 2y plus 2z equals 8. This is the standard equation. That's the equation uh, of a plan and provided the point and the long vector. And the second uh, example is find the equation of plane that passes through three points. Three points, that's P, as is one, three, two. Q is three, negative one, and six and r that is 5 2 0 this problem uh, does not give us the long vector but it gives us three points and three points can determine two vector Uh, give us two vectors and two vectors can determine a vector that's perpendicular to both of them that is a cross product the cross product is perpendicular to both of them so this 
this uh, vector should be the long vector of the plane. So the long, uh, the long vector can be write as PQ, cross product PR. And PQ uh, PQ is 3, negative 1, 6, minus 1, 3, 2. That is 2, negative 4, 4. And PR, the vector PR is 5, 2, 0, minus 1, 3, 2, that is 4, uh, negative 1, and negative 2. And uh, N equals PQ, cross product PR, that is I, J, K. That's 2, negative 4, and 4, that's 4, negative 1, negative 2. That is, I use the definition of determinant. That is, negative 4, 4, negative 1, negative 2, minus J, that's 2, 4, 4, negative 2 and plus k that is 2 negative 4 4 negative 1 mm, that is 8 minus uh, 8 plus 4 that's 12 i that's negative 4 minus 16 that's negative 20 and there's negative sign so that's 20 J and uh, negative two plus negative uh, plus sixteen that is fourteen K can be write as twelve twenty and uh, fourteen. That's the uh, long vector. Then we can choose any point of PQR. To be to be the p naught, we can choose the p. So the equation, if we choose p as the p naught, the equation should be uh, 12 x minus 1 plus 20 y minus 3 plus 14 z minus 2 equals 0. That's the that's the long uh, point Lomer equation. That's the point Lomer equation. And uh, expand the bracket. Or first we can simplify. Simplify. And we can divide both sides by two. That's six x minus one plus ten y minus three. Plus 7z minus 2 equals 0. And then expand the, the bracket. We got 6x plus 10y plus 7z equals as a, a negative 6, a next, negative 30, and a negative 14, that is 50. This is standard. standard equation. That's the equation of planes. The second problem is angle between two planes. The angle between two planes is defined as the angle between two long vectors. Uh, 
uh, of course, is the acute angle. Uh, because if this is the uh, plane, the first, the, the plane one, and this another plane. There's another plane. This, the angles of this plane, as this is this angle. Not this angle. Not this one. We, we just use the, the acute angle of this uh, of two long vectors so uh, by the definition of the uh, by the definition of uh, inner product or dot product we have cosine theta as two dot vec, uh, n1 dot n2 over the length of n1 and n2 here we use the absolute value because it's acute angle. Uh, then, if, uh, if we take take the absolute value for the dot product, then the cosine theta should be always positive. It's positive. Cosine theta is positive, so cos theta is uh, an acute angle. Let's see uh, an example. Find the angle between two planes. It's two planes. The first plane is the first plane. Uh, is x minus y plus 2z equals 6 and the second plane is 2x plus y plus z equals 5 so the n1 is 1 negative 1 and 2 n2 is 2, 1, 1. So cosine theta is n1 dot n2 then takes absolute value divided by the length of n1 times n2, the length of n2. The dot product is 1 times 2 plus negative 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 takes absolute value and then the length of the first uh, long vector is 1 plus 1 plus 4 the second one is 4 plus 1 plus 1 so the denominator is square root, square root 6 times times square root 6 so that is 6 and the long is 1 that, that is 2 minus 1 plus 2 that is 3 so that is 1 half the cosine theta is 1 half use use the special angle so theta is pi over 3 that's the uh, angle between two planes